The county grand jury says San Diego cost itself money last year by allowing private companies to negotiate new deals for naming rights, skybox rentals and advertising at the city's stadium in Mission Valley. In a 14-page report released on Tuesday, the Civic Watchdog panel says the city should have had experienced stadium staffers negotiate the deals themselves to avoid having to share the revenue with the private companies. The report also says San Diego should create new policies for when such opportunities come up in the future, contending the procedures followed last year violate the city's municipal code. The potential lost revenue isn't likely to be an issue for long because the city plans to decommission the stadium, pending the outcome of two ballot measures this fall and ongoing discussions with San Diego State University. The new opportunities became available last spring when Qualcomm's naming rights deal for the stadium ended and when the Chargers football team severed their stadium lease, which had given the team control over advertising and the skyboxes. City chose to negotiate exclusive contracts with the San Diego Bowl Game Association to manage the skyboxes and with Fox Sports College properties to sell stadium advertising and find a new naming rights sponsor. The agreement with the Bowl Game Association, which runs the Holiday Bowl, limits the city's cut to 40% of skybox revenue. The remaining 60% is split equally among the association and the sponsor of the particular event. From July to December of 2017, the city's 40% cut of skybox revenue amounted to $152,000, the grand jury report says. The deal with Fox Sports College Properties, a division of national advertising partners not affiliated with the Fox Cable Network, provided the company 25% of naming rights revenue and 25-30% to of ad revenue. The company gets a 25% cut of annual ad revenue up to $1.5 million and a 30% cut of annual ad revenue above $1.5 million. The report did not include information on how much ad revenue has been generated under the new deal. In response to a request for proposals issued by Fox instead of the city, San Diego County Credit Union last September agreed to pay $500,000 for naming rights to the stadium, $375,000 for the city and $125,000 for Fox. The grand jury report says other private companies should have been allowed to compete with Fox and the Bowl Game Association for the opportunities provided by the city. That's because the deals were each worth more than $25,000, the threshold for requiring a competitive bidding process under the city's municipal code, the report says. The report also says the city has essentially no policies on allowing private companies, or any third party, to issue a request for proposals. It recommends that Mayor Kevin Falconer and the City Council adopt policies that would govern how the city should handle such situations, particularly what role the third party should have in evaluating the proposals submitted. The report also recommends the city adopt new policies for selling the naming rights to city assets like the stadium. The report takes issue with the city's real estate assets department contending last year that city staff lacks the expertise to properly value naming rights or sell advertising in the stadium. The stadium staff belongs to professional organizations such as the International Association of Venue Managers and the Stadium Managers Association and routinely communicates with other stadiums to compare business strategies and gather up-to-date market information, the report says. On advertising, the report says stadium staff knew from the Chargers' accounts who the advertisers had been and how much each ad was worth. A city spokesman said by email on Tuesday afternoon that officials have strived to boost stadium revenue, we're still reviewing the report but the city has tried to maximize this aging asset as much as possible with new naming rights, new advertising and more standalone events like the recent Coldplay and Beyonce concerts that have all helped bring in more revenue, said the spokesman, Arian Collins. The mayor and the council must formally respond to the report, including each of its recommendations, by August. 
51 David. Garrick at Sedunian Tribune.com 619 269 8906 Twitter at U David Garrick.